Okay, so I was casually watching the Sonic uh, TV thing that happened uh, like a week ago with my son because my son and I were, were huge Sonic the Hedgehog uh, the Hedgehog uh, fans and uh, we watched the... there's like a 25th anniversary right now Right? That's pretty cool. So they're announcing a lot of new games and, you know, uh, Netflix spin-offs and uh, the movie next year and shit, man. There's a lot happening. And then there was a segment where a Sonic the Hedgehog guitar just flashed by like this. And I'm like, what the fuck happened? And I looked it up. There's a 25th anniversary shadow of the Hedgehog guitar coming. Look at this. There are Sonic the Hedgehog guitars. And they've been existing for a while. How did I not know about this? It's ESP, man. Look at this. I don't know what the price is, but I guess that exp that's expensive. Look at the shadow guitar right there. <gasps> Man, where have you been all my life? Look at this. This is like the cheaper option because this is 165,000 yen. Uh, what's the difference between this? This has a cooler headstock. It says ESP on it, that's why. Okay, so th is this an LTD? Uh, it doesn't say. Where's an E2 maybe? I want one. I want both. I want all of them. Do I know someone at the ESP? Hello, I want to have a Sonic the Hedgehog guitar. I think these are cool as f <laughs> Damn, man. It's always the Japanese people. They get the coolest shit. And we're sitting here in Europe like, oh, oh, let, uh, oh, oh. Uh. <laughs> Maybe this is really old news, but I just found out about it. So it's news, it's news to me, man.